In this video, I'm going to reveal seven profitable niches that you can start making low content books in right now. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and niche research seems to be one of the main areas that people seem to struggle with when it comes to self publishing. And I haven't done one of these videos in a really long time. So I thought it was about time that I do one and see if I can uncover some really great niches to get you started with low content books in this new year, 2022. I do just want to say I haven't done a really deep, deep dive into each one of these niches because everybody is different and everyone looks for different things in niches. I have sort of done the surface research to uncover these niches. So if you are interested in any of them in particular, I would suggest that you do some in-depth research into the ones that you're interested in to make sure they fit your criteria of what you look for in a niche. Things like the competition, the demand, that sort of thing. But without further ado, let's get into the niches. The first few niches I'm going to go into are all in the puzzle book niche. I'm really into the puzzle book niche at the moment. I've done quite a few videos recently about it. I will link all of those videos in the description below if you haven't seen them already. It's one of the few niches in my opinion where you can make a truly unique book and that's becoming one of the hardest things about self-publishing, particularly low content books on KDP, is trying to make something that is truly or just really unique and different from all the other books in the niche that you're in. And you just use a special software to create puzzles, whatever puzzles it is that you are making for your book. And it's a very affordable software, so I will link to that in the description box below as well if you're interested in making puzzle books. Okay, so first niche that I've got up here, like I say in the puzzle book niche, we've got a golf crossword puzzle book. Anything that you can find that people are passionate about is a really great start for a niche. Sporting, things like golf, fishing, football, basketball. Those are all things that people get really, really passionate about and they are usually lifelong hobbies or interests that people have. So this particular golf book is purely just crossword puzzles with, as it says on the cover, a golf themed art interior. We'll take a quick look at the look inside just so you can see what it looks like. So you can see here this particular brand does a lot of puzzle books all around hobbies and interests that people would use usually be passionate about. And so this is what their puzzles look like. They've got one page with clues and then the second page is the crossword puzzle that you fill out. And they've got a few little icons and images related to golf. So they're nice looking puzzle pages. Now this book was only uploaded in May last year. So it hasn't been on Amazon for a really, really long time. It has, in my opinion, a pretty high purchase price, $14.99 for a 118 page book. That's usually on the higher end for low content books, though these types of books you need to put a little bit more work into because you need to be creating the puzzles and if you are going to do something like that you'd be adding images and stuff like that to the pages but this particular book has a current BSR of 24,652 which is a great BSR. For those of you that are new BSR means best seller rank and every product on Amazon has a best seller rank and it just determines the popularity of that product in the Amazon store. So the lower the number the better. You want to get that number as close to one as you possibly can. If you get to the number one spot you are killing it you'll be making so much money but obviously that's very hard so we look for niches that have a low bestseller rank because that means the book is selling if you want to get an idea of how much a book's selling we can use tools like this particular calculator that helps give an estimate they're not exact nobody ever knows how many books are selling apart from the person who owns the book this can help give us an idea an estimate of possibly how many books it could be selling each month or day. If we've got 24,000, let's just round it to 24,500. This could be selling around 174 books a month or 12 sales per day. What does that equate to in sales? Because 14.99 is not what we get. We have to obviously pay Amazon for printing costs and selling costs and things like that. So if we go to the KDP royalty calculator, we can get an idea of how much this book is making per sale. So it had 118 pages and it's selling for 14.99. So this book is making a huge royalty, $6.73 per book sold. That's pretty crazy. If you're experienced with low content books, you know that the royalty that we get on average is usually maybe two, $3 at the most. So that's amazing. If that book was selling, what did it say? 
174 copies per month, making a $6.73 royalty. That book's making $1,171, or approximately that much money, over $1,000 a month, just from that one book, by tapping into a hobby or a niche that people are really passionate about. So what I'm going to do is just take a quick look at the search page for golf puzzle book, if that's what we type in. I mean, look at them results. It's only 332 results, so there is not much competition for this particular book, but there is demand for it. As we can see, that book has a great BSR and I have seen this book before and have looked at it over the last few weeks and that bestseller rank stays pretty consistent. It doesn't fluctuate too much from that from whenever I've seen it. If we have a look here we've got another golf crossword book. In my opinion cover wise it's not as nice looking as this one. I think that one's way more appealing and attractive to buyers who are going to be searching on Amazon, but it still has not a, a too bad BSR. It's only a little over 107,000 at the moment. We've got the Ultimate Golf Quiz Book, which doesn't have a great BSR. Personally, I don't think that's a great BSR. And definitely do not use celebrities or people who are well known on the covers of your book you will eventually get in trouble for it we've got golf puzzles which has a high bsr there but again not a very attractive cover golf word games word searches crosswords so that one's got a variety of puzzles inside of it it's not just focusing on the the crossword puzzles so i think this particular niche has really good opportunity to make a really high quality book, something on par with this one. Haha, <laughs> that pun was not intended. <sighs> anyway, um, there is a opportunity here, as I was saying, to make something much better than some of these other books that are in there. In, in my opinion, this book, book doesn't have a lot of competition in terms of the professional look and the, just the, the funness of the cover of this book and the interior. So I think this is a niche that has amazing potential. Okay, next one, as I say, is another puzzle book niche. And this one is easy and relaxing activities for adults. When we do puzzle books, or I, may, maybe it's just me, but I know when I do puzzle books and I'm looking at puzzle books, I'm always thinking of, you know, really using your brain and making things hard and hard to solve and really making people think. But sometimes people don't want that. Sometimes people just want something that's easy to do, where they don't have to think too hard, where they can do puzzles that make them use their brain, but not where it's so hard, it's frustrating. And then also, as the title of the book says, there are certain people who want to do puzzles, but don't need them to be hard. So people with dementia or Alzheimer's, studies have shown that these types of puzzles are great for people with Alzheimer's or dementia. Elderly people who don't have that, but maybe just feel like they're not as, you know, quick up there as they used to be. Puzzles really help keep your brain thinking and keep everything going and so puzzles don't have to be really really hard for certain people. This particular one was only again uploaded in February last year so these aren't books that have been on Amazon for a really long time. This one has 173 pages so it's a little bit bigger and as it says here keeping your brain active is very important at all times of life. So they're targeting a niche which is the puzzle book niche but then they're, t they're drilling down even further into a specific type of customer who this book would help. If we go down and look at the bestseller rank for this one, we will get there eventually. It is sitting at 50,110. And even in the description and things like that, it's really pushing that it's for customers who have Alzheimer's or who want to improve their brain capacity or their mental well-being and build their memory and things like that. They're really focusing on that as opposed to the actual puzzles that are in this. But it's got puzzles, it's got coloring pages, it's got all sorts of different puzzles in here. And so it's marketing as more so than a brain teaser. It's more of something relaxing to do just to help keep your brain active. So this one's selling for $7.95. If we have a bestseller rank of 50,100, this book's estimated to be selling 92 copies per month, 173, uh, whoops, 170. Three pages selling for $7.95. It's probably not making a massive royalty because that's quite a big book. More of an average type of royalty on this book. It's making $1.84. But if it is making $1.84 and selling around 92 copies a month, it's making almost $170 a month. For a book that, even though it's a puzzle book, it would be quite simple to make these types of puzzles because they're not intricate, they're not detailed. You're not going to have to be 
finding a lot of different puzzles and clues and things like that for this one you can see they're pretty simple puzzles so it wouldn't be something that's going to be really hard to make if you wanted to make an easy puzzle book and if we do a quick search for easy puzzle book for adults you can see that that particular phrase keyword phrase has a lot of results over 60,000 so it might be a little bit of a harder niche to rank in or you might have to be a little bit more creative with your keywords and maybe drill down a little bit further to try and find some keywords that are a little less competitive but in saying that it's a very high demand niche because if you have a look at that there's another fun and relaxing adult activity book and look at that bestseller rank 1120 let's take a look at this one it's selling for $7.92 it has 152 pages I think it said so this one's making a two dollar and eight cents royalty with a bestseller rank of 1120 that's estimated to be selling 2,000 copies a month 2,028 copies a month with a $2.08 royalty. That book is making over $4,200 per month, estimated amount, but definitely over $4,000 a month that that particular book is making. And there's lots of really good BSRs in this niche. So if you're someone who doesn't care so much about the amount of search results, I know some of you like to look for niches that have as little search results as possible, and some of you just don't care or that you like to try, even in some of these higher competitive niches, well then I think this is a really great niche if you're not fussed about the amount of search results there or if you're happy to just try and drill down a little bit further and find some less competitive keywords. And the next one we have, this is the last puzzle book niche that I'm going to talk about today is 1950s word search, large print, targeting a particular era. Some people also get very passionate about particular times, times that they perhaps grew up in, times when they were kids, times that have really good memories or just sometimes people feel like they were born in the wrong time and they just love the 50s or the 60s or the 20s or the 90s or whatever it might be so again something that people get really passionate about and it's just focusing on one type of puzzle which is word searches again this is a puzzle that's very easy to make in the software that I mentioned earlier that's linked in the description below I've also done a few videos about this software so I'll link them as well if you want to see more information or more videos about the software that you can use to make these types of puzzles. Again, this book was only uploaded in February last year and it's got five star rating. It's a bestseller in an odd category, but no nonetheless, it's good to have that bestseller badge on your listings. And this one currently has bestseller rank of 4,877. That's an amazing bestseller rank. And I love their A content here. It shows some really great clear pictures of what's inside. So you can see exactly what you're getting. And it's nice to be able to see the inside of the book. It's nice and clean and clear. And the fonts are really easy to read and things like that. It's got a fun cover that matches that time. Okay, so this book has 100 pages selling for $7.99. This one's making a royalty of $2.64. What did we say the best the bestseller rank was? It was 4,877. So this book's estimated to be selling around 670 copies per month. So 670 copies with a $2.64 royalty. This book's estimated to be selling nearly $1,800 per month or making nearly $1,800 per month. So a really good income from this book. And in my opinion, word searches are extremely easy to make. It wouldn't take long at all to make it. And then obviously you've got the other timeframes that you can target as as well. That's something that you could do and they may be just as popular as well. All right, so that's it for the puzzle books. The next niche that I came across was blank sticker books. So I didn't know these were a thing. I didn't really know people just bought books just to stick stickers in. <laughs> But there we go, I came across this niche and it's basically just a blank book. Now, the thing is you can't actually do blank books on KDP. You have to have something on the page. So you would have to put maybe a page number, a border. See, this is what they've popped on their page. They've just put a, a little header and a footer on their pages because if you do try to submit a book with all blank pages, it will get rejected. KDP doesn't allow you to do that. So put a page number, put a border, put a little image, something just on not covering the whole page obviously just something on the page so that you can get it approved by KDP and this will most likely be 
most of the time aimed at kids. Whether there's a market for adults to have sticker books too, that's something that you could look into, but I just looked at the kids ones and it has a bestseller rank of 38,889, almost 39,000. There's a picture. Oh, so that's what you do. You just stick stickers on it. Interesting. All right, so let's have a look at the book itself. It's 110 pages selling for 550, so quite low. So it's probably not getting quite a large royalty. Whether you could increase the price and make sales, that's something that you could experiment with. So 110 pages, 599, it's making a $1.42 royalty. And if it's selling 38,000, 800 ish books a month, that's 116 books per month, approximately 116 books times $1.42. That book is making nearly $165 per month for one of the most simple books that you could possibly make to sell on Amazon. Is there a market for these types of books? Let's have a look. A very big amount of search results. We've got over 10,000 search results for blank sticker book. And I did notice up there it did have kids for adults, for girls. So you could drill down a little bit further in terms of the keywords you search for. But we've got my sticker album, my sticker collection, my awesome stickers. It's another sticker book. They've all got really great bestseller ranks as, as well on this first page. So they're all selling and there's definitely demand because having a low bestseller rank means there's demand because people are buying it. It may be a little bit too high competition for some. Like I say, you may have to drill down a little bit further into an age range or target girls or boys or adults or something like that. But definitely a niche worth looking into. All right, now next one I've got is not so much a particular book we're going to look at, but I just searched for witch journal. Witches and Wicca and witchcraft and spirituality and all that sort of stuff is extremely popular and on trend right now. And I personally think that it's due to to the revival of 90s. The 90s coming back is huge at the moment and I was a teenager in the 90s and one of the most popular movies back then and one of my favourite movies at the time was The Craft. I don't know if any of you remember The Craft. It was the movie about the four girls who were witches and that movie came out and everybody was trying to be a witch and trying to do light as a feather, stiff as a board and lift their friends off the floor and have them levitating and stuff like that. And the 90s is back and it's back in a big way. The craft actually got remade uh, last year, I believe. And everything 90s is just popular again. And so Witches and Wicca is also having a bit of a revival and it's on trend at the moment. So anything sort of witchy is really popular at the moment. So there's witch journals, there's witch journals in terms of um, book of spells where people can write down spells that they make up or you could, if you are into more high content books, you could even consider creating a high content book that already has spells in it and things like that. I know that just uh, blank or lined journals are really popular for people to write magic spells in and stuff like that. This is just a journal, a dot grid journal. Uh, there's a witch's diary and the mindful witch, a daily journal. If you can see the bestseller ranks, they're pretty good. Looking at the ones that are obviously through KDP, not these leather type of ones that are sold from other places. They're not obviously printed or made by KDP. This is one where it's a spell book. So this would just be, a, as it says, a diary to record spell casting sessions and rituals. This one's got journal prompts within it. This one's a tarot journal. So I think this niche overall, the Wicca witches, is definitely something to look into. It may just be a trend. It may not be something that's going to go on forever, but for the next year or two at least, it's going to be something that's pretty popular. I mean, look at that book there. It's a higher content book though, Witchcraft for Beginners, and it's got a bestseller rank of just under 37,000. We've got some of these junk journals, which are really popular at the moment. You may need to check whether junk journals trademark though. Shadow work journals are also really popular at the moment. This is a coloring book planner. So I have looked at this. It's a planner which has lots of coloring elements into it. So you can incorporate coloring into it as well. So here's another one. That's a high content book, a spell book for new witches. And look at the bestseller rank, 940. It's just a really popular trend at the moment. And you just need to make sure you do create something on trend in terms of 
the type of covers. You can't just make the type of cover you'd make for a logbook or something like that. You have to make sure that if you're going to go into this niche, you really need to fit in with the niche and they fit what people are going to want in a diary, in a journal, in a planner and things like that in terms of your design. Okay, next one we have a large notebook. That was the keyword I popped in or came across in the search result. Large notebook. This particular one's called a giant notebook and it's just a notebook but with heaps of pages. It's really really thick. <laughs> I think it measures something like two inches in thickness with the amount of pages. So this particular one has 600 pages. There are going to be a small amount of people out there looking for really, really large notebooks. And you're probably thinking, well, that's going to cost a lot to print. Yes, it will, but they sell for a higher price. They sell in accordance for how many pages they have to print in them. This particular one has a bestseller rank of 72,614. And so we've got a 600 page book selling for $18.99. So the royalty is great royalty, $3.34 per book sold. And if we've got 72,600 bestseller rank, we're selling maybe around 65 copies per month. 65 copies a month with a $3.34 royalty. So this book's making $217 per month. And it's just a simple lined notebook. It's just that it's got a huge amount of pages. So if we head over to search and we search for large notebook. We've got a good amount of search results, under 1,000 for large notebook. There isn't a massive amount of competition. Large notebook actually isn't bringing up a whole lot in terms of actual large notebooks. So let's, let's search for giant notebook, like what that notebook was called. And this has got a little bit more in terms of search results. So 3,000 search results for giant notebook. That would be the same company, just done their books in all different colors. So we've got another one there, 500 pages, a BSI just under 200,000. Got another one, 600 pages, a little over 200,000. This one here, 168,000. So not too bad BSRs, but it'd be quite a small niche, quite a small group of people looking for these types of books, but a very simple book to make with a fairly decent royalty. Okay, and we're on to the last niche that I'm going to reveal today, and that is Book Talk Journal. Now, this is a trend, an interesting trend that has come up and it's related to TikTok. If you're familiar with TikTok, they have hashtags, just like majority of social media networks out there, hashtags that you can find certain things with. And something that's a bit of a surprise with TikTok is the romance book genre has taken particularly well to TikTok. What's happening is for some reason romance book authors and and some other authors in other niches but at the moment it seems to be really working well for romance book authors particularly spicy romance books. They are just taking off on TikTok and there are authors self-published indie authors who are going on TikTok and their TikTok videos are taking off and their books are becoming bestsellers and they're getting these massive followings from TikTok. So there is a hashtag which is called BookTok, which helps you find romance books, authors, you know, romance book authors and romance book accounts on TikTok. And so what someone has made is a, <laughs> I like that, did you mean book nook? So people are starting to make some book talk journals or book talk log books. And basically when you see a book that's recommended on book talk, I guess you can jot it down in the journal so that you can make sure you don't forget and go buy it or read it in Kindle Unlimited or whatever. Or maybe you could have a journal where people can write a review about the book that they've read, which is what they have found on TikTok. It's just a very new niche at the moment. It's got 163 results. There are some books already doing really well on here. So this is just called a mini book talk journal. It's got a bestseller rank of 56,284. That one's smaller by the looks of it. It can only record 25 books. This one here, so this would be a normal sized book, not a, not a mini one, you can record 100 books in this journal and it's got a bestseller rank of 26,111. It's a hard cover and it's selling for $20, almost $20. We've got this one here, another book talk journal. I imagine this one is probably 
just a paperback and it's got a bestseller rank of just over 120,000. I think this is a really great little niche to get into at the moment. It's got literally no competition and the couple of books that are in there have pretty decent bestseller ranks. If we take a look at this one, although it is hardcover, let's have a look and let's have a look inside what it looks like because I haven't actually looked inside this one yet. Okay, so you can put a picture of the book cover and you write a little bit about it. So fairly simple to make that kind of interior. We've got 200 pages selling for 1999. 1999, 200 pages, and it's hardcover. So $4.09 royalty, so pretty decent royalty, and 21,900, so estimated to be selling 192 copies per month. 192 copies with a $4.09 royalty, so $785 a month, possibly from this journal logbook. I should have kept this niche to myself. <laughs> I should have not told you guys about this and gone into it myself. Maybe I will still. But what a great little niche for something that probably not a, peop not a lot of people even realize is a thing yet. Again, could it just be a trend? Who knows how long it's gonna go for, but at the moment, TikTok, BookTok is, a thing, a really big thing. And again, it's one of those things that people are just so passionate about. Readers, particularly romance readers, they are so passionate about romance books and reading and recording and recommendations from other people on social media and stuff. I think this is an awesome little niche. So there are seven new niches that will hopefully help you kickstart your low content book publishing business this year if you are new to low content publishing or hopefully you have found some new niches that you're interested in having a look into further if you are already experienced. If you did like this video and you would like me to make more videos revealing some profitable niches, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.